Hey guys, Philip again with Trade Genius uh, afternoon video. Uh, Bob will be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to cover crypto and I'm going to cover EOS. Uh, people have been asking about some price analysis on that and also because of the main net launch. So we're going to discuss all of that in, in this afternoon's video. So let's dive in. Trade Genius. All right, so just so you know, there's been some some talk out there that the main net officially launched or successfully launched, but just know that the main net on EOS hasn't actually launched. There's a multi-step process. I won't get into all the technicals of it now because we're gonna look at price, but if you wanna learn more, you can go to eoscountdown.com and click on the more info link here. But uh, multi-step process the EOS tokens have been frozen now the mainnet launch is in process and that's gonna take a few steps they have to get their block producers online they have to do some testing and then they will officially launch the mainnet last time uh, I looked they were estimating anywhere from 20 to 40 hours from now um, so this is right now we're about a little past 5 p.m. Eastern on Monday June 4th so maybe the next sometime this week they may actually officially get that launched all right so just want to be clear about that that out of the way let's take a look at the price action so you know eos has been on a record setting year-long ico process they've raised a record four billion dollars plus in uh, uh, you know ico uh, startup money and so eos during that time started off had a really long downtrend um, you know, a lot of people were talking about, you know, they really didn't expect price to start moving until the ICO was done because every day more tokens were being uh, put out there on the market. But it actually did bottom out like with most of the IC or uh, altcoins back in November, December. And like with most of them came up to January and then pulled back. But it has really kind of taken off uh if you compare EOS to the rest of the alt market uh, from that January time frame, it's really just outperformed and done a really good job. So up until this point, it's done really great. So what do, where do we go from here? At this point in time, uh, you know, EOS is, you know, as you can see with the the oscillators, RSI, the stochastic RSI, have this uh, this oscillator here. We're not too terribly uh, overbought, although the stochastic RSI is somewhat overbought here. Uh, but we're not uh, oversold by any means like we were in this area here, or even back here when this oscillator came down to this point here. Uh, kind of coincided with uh, our daily firing long here, guys. Again, if you want this daily signal, which is really deadly, you want to head over to tradegenius.co and pick that up. But fired here, and stayed long until we got to here uh, typically when we trade that though we'll probably set a trailing stop and we get stopped out here and we lock in all those gains so that was a nice percentage gainer on the daily signal short fired and came back down to this trend line this is a shorter term trend line off of this previous low came off and was tagged a few times here and then got kind of a dirty violation there and was also but then you know was respected and came up here so now we've got this other touch here not a fan of a two touch trend line I like to see three touches but we do have this kind of forming here and so what I'm looking at is this usually what happens is when you get something like this or a build up to an event you're gonna get you know it's kind of called buy the news or buy the rumor sell the news buy the rumor sell the news so when the main net launches a lot of people you know will step up to the plate and look to get long they think that's going to be a bullish event and a lot of times what happens you got so many people stepping up to the plate and they have a bunch of stops set that people will sell and that creates a cascading effect with stops getting hit and you actually have the opposite effect you actually see price decline off of something that you would interpret to be bullish such as a main net launching so uh, you know, that's that would be the defensive uh, stance I would take with EOS. And, um, you know, $4 billion market cap is a lot for something that hasn't had a mainnet launch. And so the, you have to just be defensive. If you're a longer term 
hot alert, that's you know one thing. But if you're looking to get position here, you have to be a little defensive at this point and brace yourself for some downsides. So what are the downsides? Well, uh, let's say it does pull back and we just don't know until price action. But if you're not in here, uh, I think you're going to see a little bit of a bounce off these moving averages here and this trend line here. So around 0 0.0016. Earlier, actually, I was trying to get into it when it pulled back down to this level here because I thought this was a really great support level at this red line here around the 0 0.0013 level. And we just never quite got there. Uh, buyer stepped in and never quite made that bounce off. So uh, if we saw that again, yeah, I would, I would hit it here again. <clears throat> I would be fairly tight with the stops, but I think there's a very high probability that we bounce off that level. Uh, and then... Uh, you know, you would basically look at that point uh, for some resistance level, which this area here, 15.8, the 006, those are pretty stout resistance levels there. And uh, probably would be looking for a target at that range because now you're going to be in a downtrend, right? And so you're kind of looking for these bounces on a downtrend. You tend to want to be a little more defensive on those. Uh, basically what you want to see though is some you know consistently sustained volume come in to support any uh, sustained buying going up now if uh, they do get a successful mainnet launch and let's say that the downside selling is short-lived and this comes back up I'd be looking for a break of this and then what's going to happen is this uh, here let's make a copy of this This uh, support or this resistance here is going to become support. And I would be looking for, uh, you know, if this breaks out, a pullback to this level here and for a bounce higher. But, you know, keep in mind, uh, again, large market cap on this. Uh, I would not be surprised. I'm kind of leaning toward a little bearishness. Um, and it could be that we just consolidate a little bit in here. Uh, before moving up and you also want to see the entire crypto market cap uh, going up not sideways or down to further support a move up you know that's just that's just common sense so that's the take on the daily guys uh, you also have this very long term uh, support line here uh, down here this is this is really long term and if price was to get really bearish now to that point, I would definitely load up because these long-term trend lines always provide a decent move or a decent bounce. Uh, and unfortunately, crypto always seems to, especially with the alts, they always seem to at some point revisit those. So just keep that trend line in mind. That's drawn from the November, October, um, October, late October low uh, to the more recent um, March 20th low in there. So keep that in mind. All right, uh, drilling down to the four hour. Uh, again, our signal guys fired there on the four hour. Nice short move down. And that's kind of hit the support area in here. If you look, price bounced in this area here. There's There was support back here for that. So it made sense that there was support there. There's also support lower, 17.4. Uh, and you got a lot more support closer to 17. So keep that in mind. But, uh, you know, essentially here we're probably going to look to, to see or probably going to get a signal fire long here. Uh, if this can sustain uh, a bounce here for a few more four hour bars. We do like when these things signal. If you can notice the signal at the top of the regression channel. We like that a lot. That kind of that kind of puts more oomph in the in the short and long signals uh, so long is a buy short is a sell uh, again like down here we had a four hour chopped a little bit and finally took off but we like it when it's in for the buys in this lower region of the linear regression channel and for the sells in the upper and that goes for all of the alts that we like to trade and on the hourly guys You'll notice we are still signaled short on the hourly. Never did flip long, though. That's probably going to happen here, and it will happen in an area of the linear regression channel that we like. So we may get a, a kind of a short-term swing. You know, we we are looking for previous resistance levels, so we could see a, a, a bump up, uh, maybe to close to 18, 18.6, 18.7 level, and. And that would be a kind of a more of a quick scalpy type trade. 
at that point, if you wanted to try and swing longer and see if you can get back up into these the, these levels up here, you'd move your stop your stop up kind of quickly there. But just keep in mind, you notice how there's kind of a gap here on the volume. So a lot of times, what can happen is you'll see a retracement back down to where you see more volume support down there, right? So good to look at this stuff on the different time frames, and it kind of depends also on your strategy and your time frame that you prefer to to trade in, but. Uh, that's my take on EOS at the moment. Again, I think hourly you'll probably uh, get a signal that will fire here soon, next uh, couple of bars, and that you could trade for a short move. Uh, on the four hour, if this rolls over uh, and we get a signal down in this area again, probably good for a bounce, especially if it coincides with some of these uh, support levels that we talked about on the daily. Uh, you, again, you have a pretty decent support level at 0 0.0017 right in here. So. All right, guys, uh, and that coincides with this trend line too. So there's a case for it to go along there. Just keep it in mind, uh, it has had a good run up and um, you, you just wanna be a little bit defensive on those on those long entries because I think there is a potential that we visit ultimately down to this uh, 0 0.0013 level in that area. I know the bulls don't wanna hear that, but you, know, you gotta just keep in mind the scenarios and uh, realistically, these things tend to want to consolidate after big moves up, especially in the alt space. All right, guys, that's it for me uh, on EOS, and I will catch you on tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Take care. Trade Genius.